Hello and welcome back for episode two now of Psychonauts. Last time we completed our basic braining uh, and we met Raz, the main character, our playable character. And uh, he's not supposed to be at this Psychonauts summer camp, but he is here anyway and he's participating as long as he can. Now they've said that they're going to call um, our dad to come get us, but as long as that's not happening, we're trying to go to class and, and do stuff. Also, we know that the uh, adults here have noticed that there's something special about Raz. Uh, he seems to be really powerful in the realm of psychic stuff. Uh, so we don't know what that's about. We know that Agent Sasha Nine um, wants to conduct some maybe experiments on Raz or something. Uh, so that has to do with our current objective that we just got from him after completing our basic braining last episode. Okay, so we're the triangle here. We want to get here. Let's see. I'm not, maybe we need to come down this way and then go this way. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. We'll have to see. But also, I know that there is... There were a lot of things that we left not done here. Cards that we didn't get, and stuff like that. Coach is like asleep or something. On the, uh, next to the radio. Wow. Yeah. I swear I pressed jump there, but it didn't do anything. Let's see, I know there's more. Okay. I'm gonna close my eyes, right? And then I'm gonna start to count to a hundred. Oh boy, okay? and he can do it. And then you guys hide. Everybody got it? It's hide and seek, Vernon, not hide and calculus. We've all got it. I got it. You start counting, and then I go hide in that bush. Great. <laughs> One. Milka, you are oh. a genius. Come on, Dogan. Hold on. This reminds me of a story. It's about counting. Hello? Bad. You guys are good. Hey, Vernon, what's up? I'm hunting the most dangerous prey of all. Bad. Special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. Dream fluffs, everyone. Keep a pocket full of these for a quick boost of mental health. So am I hey, supposed to help Vernon? Nope, not yet. Hmm. Don't know if I can or am supposed to help Vernon. I mean, they turned invisible. What could I do? Huh. You can interact with the door. Didn't think about that. Okay. Okay, let's try getting up here. Hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, yo. Got a little cave here. What's this? I don't know. Okay, call me crazy, but I have just got to sell more side course today. So yes, these prices are real. Here at the camp store, side cores are just that cheap today. Hmm. Okay. Well, now, if I were to buy one, it would, uh, let me make a thing. I guess. Is this the well? It is. But so we've figured out what the well was for. Or not really what it's for, but <laughs> where it went. But what's at the end of this? Oh. Looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. A sandwich? Mm. Frozen. Mm. Mm. Frozen solid. I'm trying to press triangle on it to interact with it, or Y. The Y button, which is my triangle button on a PlayStation controller. Yep, yeah, doesn't seem like we can do anything to it. Dude, come on. I don't see any visual clue or like or where the fighting kids went. Okay, let's look at the map. Not much to see. I guess we'll go on might be faster tonight when this baby is full of fine ladies i'm going to see everything how are you gonna fill that nut with ladies no dude the girl's cabin i've got a man on the inside i get it you're using clairvoyance you grabbed one of the squirrel's nuts and now you're using clairvoyance on it to form a mental link and see what the squirrel sees um, could you say acorns instead of nuts if you repeat that to anybody else? Teach me how to do that. <laughs> hey, I paid a little bit of attention in class, but not that much. What you need is an expert in clairvoyance, where I am merely an expert in the ladies. Yeah. Okay, then. Okay. I guess we're gonna go on up the hill here. Hmm. Entering main campgrounds. No passing, but I need to get to Sasha 9's secret lab. Maybe you should have thought of that before. I did think of that before. That's why I'm here now. Exactly. Now you gotta pay the toll. One arrowhead. Pay up. 
I found this thing. Is that what you're talking about? Yep, that's an arrowhead. How'd they get here? Frankie, the new kid can't be this dumb, right? The camp's built on an Indian burial ground, and... Uh, of course. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Indians buried their dead here? Ew! I hope not. No, stupid. They buried their arrowheads here. Oh. They're hidden underground, but they let out a little gas once in a while. Just like Coach Oleander. So if you see any <laughs> of that stuff, just pull them right out. Like truffles. Anyway, let me have one of yours. Okay, then. Whoa there, you. Come here, you. Can't do the scavenger hunt without a list. Report back to me when you have enough items for your first promotion. Now get! Whoa. Find eight items, and you'll be promoted four ranks. Find eight, eight more, and you get promoted another four ranks. Okay. The sandwich. How do we get it out of that ice? I don't know. So where do I... Hey, where'd he go? <laughs> How does that old guy get around so fast? Okay, so we have that to do. I wonder if there's something, some ability we might get at some point to like heat up that ice, melt the ice, and then, uh, Get the sandwich. I don't know. Still, uh, mumbling away. Hey, the car, give it to me. Hey, what are you guys doing up here? Uh, writing cheers. Oh, yeah, writing cheers. Want to hear one? Uh, okay. Ready? Okay. When I grow up, hey, what you gonna be? I'm gonna be the best, just like my mean homie. And when you say homie, whose horn might you be tooting? The mind reading psycho thriller? Oh, you must mean Rasputin. Yeah! Woo! Hey, hey, hey. Woo <laughs> okay, then. Filling up those scavenger hunt forms. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. We're going way over here. Yep. Hey, a Psy Challenge Marker. Every time you find one of these, your Psy Cadet rank goes up. Rank up enough and you'll get new Psy powers. Okay. Yeah, we knew most of that. Oh. 
Well, I guess we'll just go on to the where we're trying to get to, which is where that way. Is it this way? No. This way. I don't know what that symbol is for. GPC and wilderness. Alright. Yep, we're getting there. Oh, now we see that symbol. Bird. Hey, you're that new kid, ain't you? Well, I'm doing some advanced training right now, as a matter of fact. So I don't think new kid is really a name that you want to get too used to saying. Well, hold on there. You're not doing Sasha Nine's advanced training that he does in his secret underground lab, are you? Hidden deep within the iron walls of the GPC, where no one can hear you screaming? Why, yes, I am. <laughs> Sakes alive. Well, nice knowing you. All right. So they don't think it's a good idea to go there. Well, we triggered a cutscene. Okay. Hey, was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. You should write greeting cards. <laughs> there was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> <laughs> wow, she got him good. And so is that going to be a romance? Who's to say? Okay, so... We came from up there. Over this way is what? I don't really know. Crow feather, got that. Was that a scavenger hunt item? Perhaps. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's it for then? How oh, goofy. I can't believe that's not one. I think that was the golden acorn that actually is a scavenger hunt item. Nope, still won't budge. Man, it's wedged into that little geyser. Hmm. 
There must be some power we're gonna get to help us with some of this stuff. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A psychic bear. I didn't see that one coming, I must say. <laughs> A psychic bear. Ah, okay, so this squirrel is gonna keep being right there. I gotta be able to hit it. Ah. Nah, I nah I don't think it's possible, I guess. Okay. Well we found that. So we'll be back later to see about it, I guess. Maybe we'll get like telekinesis or something. Be able to pull it. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. I'm hiding, and I thought, <laughs> Oh, Nils. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you oh, just yeah. see yourself staring back. Uh-huh. What? I mean, he'd see my new boyfriend, James, staring back. And he'd be furious. Right. Nils. Who's Nils? Exactly. <laughs> and anyway, there wouldn't even be a hole because James fills my heart till sometimes I think it's going to explode. One time, I made someone's head explode. Well, okay. Maybe there's still a little hole. Actually, it happened four times. But James and I have each other now, and Nils is just gonna have to deal with it. Now they make me wear this special hat, so I don't have any more accidents. Are you even listening to me, Dogen? I hope so. <laughs> Dogen is absolutely hilarious. What if I jump down there? Hey, there's a hole at the bottom of this stump. Wow! It's a tunnel that opens onto a system of catacombs. I think I can squeeze through. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we will have to go down and take a look there. This bear. <laughs> oh no. Don't get stuck. Alright. Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Whoa. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Whoa. I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble cycle master. Wow. Didn't expect this. And he's keeping tabs on folks. Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. 
I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. <laughs> What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this huh. whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoon benders don't kill each other. What's titanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Yeah. Hmm. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It, it helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. I'd better go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry, I'll be right here with you, inside your head. My head? <laughs> yep, I want to keep a my eye on up. you, son, <laughs> so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah, I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. <laughs> Same. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> no baggie, just loose bacon. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies work. Now, this beauty okay. here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Mm. Now, up in the camp store, I got a ton of those. a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The duster stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful, like a card from a side challenge marker, which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for nominal fee, and it will kick out a bona fide side challenge marker, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there and my side cards and cores in there, and soon I'll be able to burn stuff. Yep, basically. Have fun.
Hmm. Interesting. Isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Cruller. Okay. Now we'll go back to our main objective, which is to go see Sasha. In the girl's cabin. I'm hiding. And I'm hiding. <laughs> Mills, when will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. Uh huh. What? <laughs> Where is this kid at? Help! Above me, I guess. GPC, a geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Oh, oh man. okay. Cool. Cool? Do you have any idea what this does? Something cool? Uh, no. <laughs> it's a six sensory deprivation tank, a hermetically sealed metaphysical hot box. It's solitary confinement for psychics. Interesting. Nasty. And the coach locked you inside it? Nah, the staff hasn't put any kids in the GPC since the 50s. Bobby threw me in here. Bullion dwarf oh, Bobby. should assault own size or larger only. Why even cooler? Perhaps notice gigantic bear with skin where hair should be? I didn't see anything in there. That's the whole point. Hmm. Just so. Empty now. Good luck, small ones. Hey, wait! <laughs> okay. What's this? Oh, well, now it's nothing. Maybe it's like just a trash can or something. Hmm. Looks like one of the buttons is missing. Yo, I have a button. Okay. But I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Yeah. Okay, how do I uh, use it? Hmm. Yeah, where's the button? Call me crazy, but I have a weird feeling that that button Sasha gave me goes here. Oh, my left bumper button will center the camera. That's what I've wanted. Okay, I don't know how to... Call me crazy, but yeah. I have a weird feeling... I don't know how to 
use the button. What else do that I have? Sasha gave me goes here. Maybe I just don't remember what it said. I don't know. Like, where is anything that I have? Well, I'm not trying to D-pad. Oh, here we go. View your current psi powers in this thought bubble, or press left to see what's in your backpack. Okay. To pull out an item from your backpack, uh, point at it and press A. To return it later, press B. Now I've got it. Okay. <laughs> We're going in. Agent nine. I'm here for the advanced training. Hello. The cleaning lady. I'll get those files out of your way just as soon as I'm done with these tests. What's that over there? That is a dancing object. And I must have it. Fossil. That's a scavenger hunt item, isn't it? What's so? What are we gonna learn? Bending spoons, burning stuff. Explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor Science. tricks. Science. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler. Okay. So, what's this hair dryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow. <laughs> Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, mm. a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the sure. only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Okay. This is where everybody's connected. Let's have a look. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, 
What can you see? I see a rundown gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Oh. Compelling. He is a circus guy. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? Asputin's getaway. Memory. Okay, circus, circus family. So somebody has a brochure or pamphlet. Is this the one that he read about coming to this summer camp? Yeah, I guess so. His dad or somebody rips it up. You're not going there. Goes into the world's smallest pony alive <laughs> uh, thing. Oh, he takes the world's smallest pony. Oh, man. Whispering Rock. He hitchhiked to get here. That's it. Okay. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Huh. Uh-oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Rasputin, tell me what is happening. What is stuck? Well, I'm kind of stuck in a little white space. Aha! Whoa. That was nice. That was a nice transition are there. Are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar good. animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! <laughs> we just broke out of, like, an egg. Follow unfamiliar animal entity, Bunny. Purse tag. Just some kind of wind thing. I don't think I can get up there to it. Oh man! A thing. An enemy. Some meat? Yeah. Okay, got that one. We got another tag. We've got two emotional baggage tags already. Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Was... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! There's the diver's helmet. Ah! Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, dive inside. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Hmm. Defeat that big monster I saw. Ah, yes. Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'll help you. Okay, I guess we'll save here. Well, okay. continue. I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Cruller would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Cruller? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Cruller. Okay, so we would have ended up in Cruller's uh, like sanctuary. Let's go to four. Yeah. Here we are again. Hey, I'm back. Agent Cruller? Child, how goes the training? Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Nothing. That was good. Nothing. Prepare your mind. Nothing. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Hey, Thanks. That'll be good. Side blast? No, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. I'd better go. Good luck. All right. So now we'll. What? I can't see this thing through the screens floating around. I'm silly. Agent Nine with. Go straight back. This is a good little, nice fast travel system. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you going to pull me into your mind like the coach did? Hmm. No offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Right, pull me in. Okay. So he, he'll put a door on his head. Interesting.
Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets <laughs> the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control. And that's it's what empty I'm going to teach here. you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly <laughs> at it, but I control the feelings. This is an abomination. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Okay. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Excellent. Nice. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson. Okay. All right, so one. Good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. Okay. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's try again. Oh, this time, lock your mental focus. Good. Again. Good. Again. Okay. Now then. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed uh, a lot bigger in my head. Yeah, it doesn't ah, look the same to me. Problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral part of any no. sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking no. for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. Okay, how far away can I be? Ooh, we got a little... Got the ratchet and clank type of targeting. That's the spirit. I can't Get out of here, sensor. Just a thought I was having. You piece and of garbage. It's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form. Oh, oh, sure, sure, sure. energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you psi blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these <laughs> as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back sure. every day for practice and you should have enough in as little as three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. What does this thing do? No. Hmm. They're coming out faster, but still not fast enough. Mm, still not fast enough.
Let's go. <laughs> mm, still not fast enough. And it's like not wanting to target. Turn it up. Why are you? I don't know why it's facing over there. Still not fast enough. Let's turn it all the way up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh shoot. to papa raz what have you done this is not control this is chaos i'll try to fix it you stay here and keep the numbers under control oh boy This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Where? Hey, there's a tag. It was a blue tag. I guess. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Sure. Let's look at the eggs. The blue and a yellow that I have so far. Oh yeah, found some more in my own mind, but those don't count here. That's right. Give me that. What do you got? Sasha's first loss. Okay, somebody's a baby. Maybe Sasha is the baby. There's dad, I guess. Shoot. So Sasha's mom passed away when he was very small. Oh, oh where'd that duffel bag go? Here he is. Okay. Got him. Yep. Got him and skipped his little scene there, because we've seen it already. Couldn't hear him crying now. Rid of that one. Uh, okay, other side. There's the yellow bag on top. Oh. 
No! There we go. Good. Well, you got them all. Oh, I didn't think, uh... I didn't think that would be the end. Oh well. There's a green tag. I wish I could get that bed back up. Oh no. You close one leak down and another springs up. Well, come on. We've got to take care of these, too. This dude's... Oh, he's bigger and... Uh... And he shoots fireballs or something. Oh! Did I pick up that green tag? I don't know. I did. There's the green bag up there. like a thing that'll blow up. him. Why that? Whoa. Yeah. 
Where's the thing? six parts of this oh, well, it must be three is this the third one this might be the fourth one that we just did I don't know there's pink tag Um, when. And these are definitely replayable, like missions. Got you. That's it. I've completely blocked off all of Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No. There you go. Once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, mm. one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh. So, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a buildup of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Oh no! Run, Rasputin. Very fast. <laughs> you are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge. Oh shoot. The boss time. When your mental focus is locked, press A. Uh, okay, the dodge, okay. Uh, I'm hitting the wrong button here. I don't think that hit me, but okay. <laughs> I don't think that hit me either. Enough horseplay, Rasputin. Destroy him. What now? Dude, that was not on me. Is that actually damaging? Oh my gosh, he's absorbing the the things. That's not hitting. Peel me off and put me down. How do I kill the small ones? I can't focus on them. Small sensors are feeding into his strength. You must stop them. Do I have to? Oh, no, I need to stop them from generating. Dude, it won't let me target him. There we go. Put me down! 
down! Did that get me? Oh my Destroy gosh. The that are emitting the small sensors, Rasputin. Yeah. Okay. Oh guys, I looked at my capture screen to see if see if my mic was picking up this lawnmower or something, and got got again. Where's the last thing? There it is. Okay. Oh, now they're gonna attack me. Rasputin! Out of stuff. Dude, that's not on me. Oh, come on. Why can't I can't target any of these small dudes? I don't know why it just like doesn't work. Like it has been. My gosh, I'm gonna die. This is dumb, dude. The targeting. Like, why can't I target that guy? There's no way for me to target them, so I can't dodge them either. Where's the guy? My gosh, dude. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. Yeah, I wish I could target any of the small guys. My gosh. So, is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hey, hey. Now we can shoot. Maybe we can shoot that squirrel with the golden acorn. Shoot more things. Okay, okay, enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. Okay. All right. Well, we are coming up on, uh, I guess, over an hour. We're over an hour now, probably. Um, I'm not looking, but, oh yeah. Um, so, we're gonna call it for this episode, I think, of Psychonauts. So, thank you for being here for this one, uh, and I look forward to the next one, and maybe I'll see you then. Bye.